Hello everyone, what's up? Well today, we're going to be posting Tarantula Feeding Video 77. It's been a while since we last did another feeding video, right? Okay, so we have 122 teeth to feed. This is going to take um, around 3 hours to feed. Right now it's 8.37 uh, a.m. And we'll get started. We'll do alphabetical order because I think that will be the best way for me to edit videos and stuff. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to first feed uh, my Acanthoscuria broccolhursti, the giant white bandit. Oh yes, just got a nice uh, pupated worm. <laughs> Crunch. Alright, I have here a juvenile male, Acanthoscuria geniculata, the Brazilian giant white knee. <laughs> no exception, these uh, Canthus gurias have one of the greatest appetites ever seen on teas. Here are stripes, my Bono Palma Simani, the Costa Rican zebra. <laughs> She's pretty lazy. Alright, here's Lita, Vicularia Vicularia, the Pinto. There we go. She got it. <laughs> She's beautiful. Alright, this one's a very big Vicularia. This one here is a Ahuriana, the Ecuadorian Willy Pinto. There we go. Instantly. She's in a big fluff cloud. Over here I have the Vicularia Leda the Puerto Rican Pinto. Ooh, she's defensive. I think she's hungry though. <laughs> awesome. Alright, big female Avicularia urticans, the giant Peru Pinto, and uh, she's pretty mean. Here's Cat. And watch this. <laughs> no exception. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Alright, now for the Aversi color. That one's mean. Ugh, talk about your groggy morning. That sucks. Alrighty, so back to boozeness. We're going to feed my Vicularia Versicolor until he's pink toe, who is very, very mean. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so you've pretty much seen all my Avix, uh, with exception to uh, this little Aleta that didn't eat. So on to uh, the Brachypelmas now. Alright, so right now I'll introduce you to uh, Stacy, my 5-inch female uh, Brachypelma opposeps, the Mexican Gold Red Rump. Tarantula Canada has imported um, quite a number of these, uh, half an inch for about 20 bucks. So that's really cheap for uh, a Brachypelma. I myself are going to get a pair of uh, Averdesi, the Mexican Rose Gray. So let's see how well she eats. Wow. Gorgeous Bracky. All right, here are my pair of uh, two inch Bracky Palma Aratum, the Mexican Flamey. So I got two uh, crickets in here. So we're going to feed the female first. And the male. Oh, nice. And the male. 
Alright, so here is uh, Katana. She is my Brachypalma Bomi, the Mexican fire leg. She's around 20 years old. She's the second oldest uh, Brachy that I have. Curly Sue is the oldest one, 23. She didn't eat in front of the camera, so I didn't record her. There we go, she's still old. And she attacks anything. It's the dark form. Alright, here is my fat female Brachypelma Emilia, the Mexican painted red leg. Never say fat to a girl because she's going to slap you in the face. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Okay, so let's... I don't have to find a little small one for her. I think this one may be good enough. I don't know if she wants it. Oh, what a pig. She got it. Yeah, she might be in pre molt soon, but... She's a healthy girl. Here is Petunia Brachypelma Classy, the Mexican pink. There we go, I can see some fang action going on. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Alright, let's try my B. Smithy now. Here's my adult female Brachypelma Smithy, the Mexican Red Me, in a 6 liter shoebox enclosure. She wants it. Look, look how, how she hunts. There we go. Good girl. Yeah. That's the thing, the largest one that I have. Now we'll try Scarlet. She's my favorite. And here she is. Isn't she lovely? Well, she's my favorite. She's responsible for making my YouTube channel happen, as well as rekindle back my passion for tarantulas. So if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be making these videos. Alright, so let's go see how well she eats. Uh, makes me proud to own her. Here is my Rocky Palma Vagans, the Mexican Red Rump. This is definitely going to need a rehouse. Wow. <laughs> That's almost an adult cricket. And she's still, what, like an inch and a half now? No, an inch and a quarter. Pretty awesome. That little monster you've seen is going to become that big once it grows. That's my adult female named Morticia. Alright. Let's put a juicy superworm in there. Nice. Yeah, it's a big female, seven and, and a half inches. Alright, so a fellow subscriber requested a Sarita Jars Marshali update. So uh, here is Marsha, uh, the mature female, straight horned baboon. Nice. Well, I think I have a death. Uh, yeah, my male, I see Marshali. Oh, not another baboon. What is this? At least this one here wasn't as humid as the Escalciatum, but... It, look, it was healthy. And I'm looking at the fang area. I don't see any signs of infection. This really sucks.
All right, this one is very much alive. Uh, this one here is my Chilobrachis guanasiensis, which is the Chinese fawn, Shulin. Awesome. Mature female, green bottle blue, Chromatopelma cyanopubescens. <laughs> Perfect. She's back to eating superworms. Alright, here is a Cirrocosmus elegans, the Trinidad dwarf. There we go. Here's the largest member of the genus, the Perez Melusi. Yeah, with the blink of an eye, she grabbed it. Alright, Burgundy Skeleton. This is the Apopopus rufescens. Sling that it could be a male. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool attack. Esmeralda's sure have been busy. Uh, this one here is my Ephopus uh, Udeman, which is the Emerald Skeleton. Oh yes. Haven't seen an attack from her in the longest time. See how skittish these are? Wow. Alright, here is an Euhathus tricolentus, or Parafaza parvula. The Chilean beautiful. So I got another subscriber request me to uh, feed this one. It's Chloe. No, she's agitated. I'll leave her alone. Here's uh, Serena, my little itty bitty uh, female. Um, Eupalestra Swagenbergi, the white collared. There you have it. What a great feeding response for such a small sling. And believe it or not, that's two years old. Very slow growing species, but extremely long lived. Here's that <coughs> male uh, Gramasola pulchra that molted. Uh, this is a Brazilian black. Oh, that's struggling. <laughs> there we go. He took a little while. Alright, Grandma Solo Pulker Peas, the Choco Goldney. My other three wouldn't eat, so hopefully we can rely on Peach. There we go, good girl. I knew we can count on you. This is my red killing machine, Grandma Sola Rosea red form. Just the rose here. Um, Talia wouldn't eat, of course, uh, it's a G Rosea, so it's normal for them to go on feeding fasts. And I think she's no exception. I'm, I'm thinking she's in pre-molt now. Because she would probably grab the cricket instantly. I know her. Alright, Haplopelma Lividum, Cobalt Blue, Midna. Oh, nice. Oh, she was definitely hungry. 
been a while since I last seen her eat, but that was intense. Alright, here is a Hedescadra Maculata, the Togo Starburst Baboon. Uh, female. There we go. Alright, Terra the Terrible, the Trapdoor Spider, the Idiop species. There we go. And I actually thought the trapdoor was there. It's actually right over there. Well, I guess just one cricket for now. <laughs> that was awesome. It's 10.17 a.m. and I still have a lot more teas to feed, so I'm going to have to speed up on this now. Alright, this one here is a Lassidora difficilis, the Brazilian Fire Red Bird Eater. Dora. Not a problem. Alright, here this one is a Lassidora fracta, the Brazilian Smoky Gray Bird Eater. Uh, this is Willow, uh, presumed to be a male. At least that's what I gathered from the ventral shot. Perfect. Alright, this is a Lassidura Kluge, a Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. So I'm going to feed a little small, no, I give her a cricket. Um, my super arms are just too huge for her. Oh. There we go. Perfect. There's one. Let's see if she'll take the second one. Cool. Alright, here is uh, Lassidora Parahibana, the Salmon Pink Bird Eater. Uh, this one here is Daisy, my female. Got this one from Cayman from Arachnoboards. Uh, this is my largest female. Um, oh yeah, speaking of which, uh, Jesse has sent me a picture of uh, our egg sack for our LPs. There she be. About the size of a tomato. Like a little small one. I oh, can't wait to see how many babies that comes out. A little slightly smaller than a baseball. Too cool. Here's Goma now. Another LP. This one's a female too. And there is a the last female that I have. <laughs> These things hit like tanks. Cool. Alright, Linotheli Megatheloides, the Bolivian funnel web, which is a diplorid. Give it two crickets. Well, it seems George was pretty busy with his uh, enclosure. Uh, this one here is a Megaphobema robustum, the Colombian giant red leg. With missing hair on the abdomen. There we go. That was a good one. Alright, here's a new baboon I picked up. Uh, this one here is a Monocentropus lambertoni, the Madagascar lamperdins tea. Um, I just had to change the name from Adela to Nibiru, because I thought it would be a suitable name. So, we'll see if she's hungry. Uh, no. Okay, 
Next one. All right, Nandu Colorado Velosas, the Brazilian black and white. There we go. That's Mina. She's a 4.75 inch female. All right, here is Ophelia Orthonoctinus oritibalius, the Thailand fringe. Yep, got that one. Beautiful uh, burrow, I might add. All right, here's Jade Panthabedius antinus, the Bolivian steely blue leg. So gentle. All right, Nicola is a mature male, Pamphibius platyama, the pink bloom bird eater. Wow, he's just so beautiful. Look at that. Pink and purple. <laughs> kind of like Richard Simmons. The meanest terrestrial species that puts my OBT to shame. From Ectopus concerides, the Haitian brown bird eater. Yep. Got that, no problem. Alright, let's start with the pokies now. So, first up for the feeding is the P. Formosa, the Salem Ornamental. Wow, she's pretty hungry. Yeah, that's an old piece of molt there. Gorgeous looking pokey. Right, hopefully first attempt on camera, Pocotheria hanuma vila semica, the Ramashwarm ornamental. Look at that. <laughs> Man, pokies are fearless animals. So rare. Alright, so, P. Metallica, Goody Sapphire Ornamental, Mia. Uh, I fed her like two or three days ago when I made the Blue Tees video. I'm uploading it now, but it's actually one of my older uploads. So she might grab the super worm. There we go. <laughs> Simply amazing. Here's Joelle, my lovely 7 plus inch female P. Ornata, the fringed ornamental. Now she's going to go crazy. There we go. Lovely pokey. Here's lovely Zelda, my P. regalis mature female. She's huge. Ooh, nice. Okay, gonna have to start feeding her up now. And then uh, we'll pair her, uh, her up with um, Kodark's two's male. Still living. Nice. Next up is P. Rufolata, the red slate ornamental. Definitely going to get a bigger cage. That's an awesome one. My larger female wouldn't eat, so here's the next best thing. Alright, some couple of boreals. More of them. Alright, some will post Erminia, the Venezuelan sun tiger. Josie. Ooh. She wanted that. Good girl. Yeah, she's pretty fat. Ooh, I said it again. And finally, P. Poker, Panama Blonde. Another female.
great. Here's Roberta, Sirico uh, Palma Rebronitans, the Panama Giant Red Rum. She is a monster. Almost as big as my B-Vagons. Oh well, I spoke too soon. Lovely. All my four tapkeys. Well, this one I'm probably not going to feed because uh, this one freshly molted. But uh, all the other three are fair game. So let's go. Okay, got one of them. This one's not hungry, and the last one. There we go. Perfect. And there's what an adult female looks like. Same gigas. <laughs> Vicious. Tapinkinia Sancti Vincenti, the St. Vincent's tree spider. Instantly. Uh, granted, you're not going to see the specimen, but pretty darn cool. All right, and here's my mature female, Theraphosa Sturmi, the Burgundy Goliath Birdier, Gretel. This is exactly how I keep um, the species in a 10-gallon tank with two papers to block off a lot of the ventilation. And you can see her tank's pretty humid, and it's been about two and a half weeks since I last missed the tease and you can see her cage is perfectly um, moist. Alright, so let's go see how well she eats. She's huge and she's very fat and no, no signs of uh, her being gravid yet. But hopefully she's going to make a sack, hopefully. See, she's hungry. She's not in pre molt so that's a good sign. And the male wouldn't eat. And it looks like she won't either. Here's my last sling, Thrixopalma ocrity, the Peru flame rump. That molt was in there for the longest time. Let's take it out and see how well uh, Trixie eats. Finally, Xenethus imanus, a Colombian lesser black. Substrate is a little bit dry, I'll have to uh, miss a little later on. But here's Genesis. Yes. Never fails to amaze me. So that's the whole feeding video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I think the best attack I've seen was that Trapter Spider. It's been what? so long since we never actually seen that specimen eat in front of the camera so that's just really cool and it's also very nice a feature a tarantula that's so rare in the hobby such as this monocentropus lambertoni so maggie's at the groomers so i'm going to cut off the video and then come being back around 6 30 p.m when i come back from the school and we'll see how gorgeous she's gonna look. Alright, so Maggie's back from the groomer. Let's have a look at her. Wow, is she pretty? Hey, little girl. That's her, check her bandana. Ooh, nice and pretty. It's got bumblebees and ladybugs. She's absolutely gorgeous. Just like my tees. Well, 
she's gorgeous because I can actually tell her. Hey, Maggie. Hey. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed this really cool feeding video. Especially with the uh, Monocentropus, uh, Lambertoni, and the trapdoor. So, hope you enjoy, guys. And thanks for watching.